New tonight at 11, an update on the progress to restore the rocks at Seven Magic Mountains. A Chopper 13 flying over the attraction near Gene today. According to the RJ, restoration efforts will extend through June 20th. The project was supposed to wrap up this week, but windy conditions and they have delayed efforts. Crews have been repairing wear and tear on those rocks since late last month. New tonight, a frightening scene at one of the world's tallest buildings. How a day of sightseeing nearly turned into a disaster for a mother and her two children. You don't come to work high, you don't come to work drunk. And Nevada becomes the first state to ban employers from refusing to hire workers who fail marijuana tests, while a local business owner says he doesn't mind. Plus, Dirty Dining is back with a valley restaurant that takes pride in its healthy food options. Some new video from inside Chicago's Willis Tower here. A glass ledge on the sky deck cracked. Well, a witness says that a woman and her two kids were on the ledge at the time. Fortunately, they did get off safely. Now, workers are now trying to fix that glass. Now, something similar happened in 2014. The tower attracts about one and a half million visitors every single year. Well, it has been 25 years since the murders that catapulted O.J. Simpson from beloved star to accused killer. Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ronald Goldman were found stabbed to death outside of her Los Angeles home on June 12, 1994. O.J. was charged and led police on a now infamous chase. He was later acquitted after the trial of the century. And tonight, the Goldmans are speaking out. The pain is always there. The loss is always there. Today is just that much more intense. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to imagine that it's 25 years. Ron would be 50 now. 71-year-old Simpson maintains his innocence, and he's lived right here in Las Vegas since his 2017 release from a Nevada prison. Well, Nevada becomes the first state to ban employers from refusing to hire workers who fail marijuana tests. The law goes into effect next year with some exceptions. The move, though, is getting mixed reviews, but the owner of a local burger restaurant says he supports it. We treat our employees like adults. Like, you don't come to work high, you don't come to work drunk. I think this law is good because, you know, it's not, it's not, shouldn't be judged on like that activity. It's about how they work and whether they interview well. As long as they get the job done, it should be whether or not they smoke or not. But not everybody is for it, and people applying to become firefighters or EMTs can't show up positive for marijuana. Same goes for potential federal government workers. Well, new tonight, a Valley restaurant that claims to be healthy just ran afoul of the health district. Plus, a river of grease results in a cease and desist order. Here's Darcy Spears to take us dirty dining. With four out of five stars and more than 600 Yelp reviews, the modern vegan is gaining customers and attention, but not all attention is good. A complaint brought health inspectors to the restaurant on Naples near Swenson and Harmon, and although they couldn't substantiate the concerns, inspectors did document a lot of health code violations. And result, the modern vegan got a 33 demerit C grade on its May 31st inspection. There was a repeat violation for improper monitoring of food temperatures with cut greens, improper hand washing, and multiple uncovered food items subject to contamination, including olives, zucchini noodles, and sugar. The fresh cilantro, parsley, and cut cabbage were not at all fresh anymore. The greens were turning yellow and brown and liquefying inside their bags, some of which were two weeks past the use-by date. There was dirt and old food accumulated on floors, a margarita glass and a dirty rag on a cutting board, to-go food containers stored on top of the hot water heater, and boxes of produce stored on the floor. Hi, I'm Darcy Spears from Channel 13. We're here because you guys are on Dirty Dining this week for the 33 demerit C grade that you had from the health district, and we came to talk to whoever's in charge and get your perspective okay. on that C. Uh, I don't have a minute right now to have a conversation, and I can't do anything on the video without having my manager. The very busy hostess and server asks us to wait for an answer, and then this. You guys aren't allowed in the property, you guys have to leave, that's all. They wouldn't give us a chance to ask questions and didn't want to explain the violations. Other issues health inspectors found included no hot water in restrooms and multiple boxes and bags of trash stored on the ground outside the open kitchen door with pigeons eating from an open trash bag. 
Plant-based sausage and tofu were both thawing in a sink, unattended and at room temperature. Fruits and vegetables weren't being washed before being cut, and a plastic-wrapped block of wood used as a doorstop was on a shelf intermingled with food. Moving on to imminent health hazards, check out this river of grease behind China Garden on Jones and Vegas Drive. That earned the restaurant an immediate cease and desist order to shut down on June 2nd. Inspectors responding to a complaint found the overflowing grease trap contaminating the back alley. A collapsed pipe caused the problem but was fixed the same day. Modern Vegan and China Garden were both back to A grades on June 3rd. For one more imminent health hazard closure, this one at the Fashion Show Mall, head to our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates. Well, kids can cure their hunger pains this summer by sending a text message. The No Kid Hungry Campaign text service connects kids under 18 to free meal services in their area. Just type food or comida and send Send it right to 877877. Then type your zip code. Kids will get a list of places where they could eat for free. The campaign has led to more kids going to the Stupik Community Center for breakfast or lunch. It's giving them things that they may not get, you know, at home or in other places. You know, it's fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, things that they may not try if they weren't coming here. The center works with Three Square to provide food to dozens of kids 18 and under every single day. No paperwork or proof of income is needed. Time to get a check on the weather and we know the keyword is hot, Dan. Yeah, it's just that simple. And that's Las Vegas in the summer for you. <laughs> Actually, you know, 107 for this time of year isn't awful. Yeah, it's a little bit warmer than we should be because we should still be in the upper 90s. 107, about 9 degrees warmer than our average. That was common across the valley today, and that is by far the warmest so far this year. Tomorrow is going to approach this number again. So one more day of this extreme heat to deal with, and temperatures will just cut back slightly. Not really going to notice the difference, but you might notice if you're going to be outside a while. All right, so four days this year, Raising Cane's donating to Make-A-Wish. Every day we hit 100, $100 goes towards them. That's 400 bucks so far. This goes through Labor Day, so plenty of time to make up for uh, lost ground so far this year, and I think we'll easily get up to about 7,000, if not more, by the time Labor Day